Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the assertions in the JMeter. So let's begin. First now let's understand what are assertions in the JMeter and then we will see how we can use the assertions in the JMeter practically with the real time examples. Okay, so first let's understand what are assertions in JMeter. Okay. In JMeter, assertions are used to verify the data or maybe the response time. In, in simple words, assertions are used for verification purpose. Okay, if you want to verify something, then you need to use the assertions. Okay, for verification purpose. Then now, let's understand this concept of verification. Okay, so you must have created the test cases as a manual tester. Okay. So while creating the test cases, there are two important fields. Okay, one is called as actual results and other is known as expected results. Okay, actual is what your application is doing right now when you're using it. And expected is basically what you are expecting from application to do. In other words, it is something related to your requirements. If your requirement is saying that on clicking on the submit button form should be submitted so this is expected okay now you will go to the application and see either on clicking on the button the form is getting submitted or not so what we are trying to do we are actually comparing the actual results versus the expected one if both are same so actual is equal to expected this means your test case is passed okay and if not then obviously your test case is failed so assertion work in a very similar way in the jmeter you need to put a session and jmeter will see either you are getting what is you are expecting okay so this is how your jmeter scripts will work okay now, now let's see this practically okay just open the jmeter and now open the script we created in our previous session okay just go here in the file click on open and we created this blast demo example open this one okay and just dry run this one and see either this script is working or not just click on this one and yes your script is working so your request is success now we want to check that either we are getting the proper data proper times proper size in terms of the byte okay there are multiple things we can check on this script okay now just go to this main application sample right click on this one click on add add assertions we have these multiple assertions okay depending on the request type we are sending right so now just click on this response assertion okay and in response to session, we are checking the response. So we are expecting that the response code would be 200. Okay. Or we might be expecting some particular data in the response. Okay. So for that purpose, this response assertion will be used. You can name this as per your requirement. Okay. For example, I am changing it to verify that status code should be 200 okay then if you want to put some comments you can do that then then you need to tell the jmeter at what level you need to apply this assertion okay so this is a sample if there are multiple sub samples so you need to define okay main sample only sub samples only maybe both of them and just leave this JMeter variable name right now. We will discuss that in our upcoming sessions. But right now, just understand this thing is that this is a level where your assertion will be applicable. Okay. And then we have this field to test. So this is the area where you need to decide what exactly you want to test. Either you want to test the text response, response code, response message, response headers, request headers. So whatever you want to test, you need to define here. You need to select that one here. And after that, we have a section called pattern matching rules. So here 
you want to tell the JMeter how JMeter needs to match this one. Either it, it will do on the basis of contains, matches, equals. So there are different way for the comparison. So you, you need to define the rule here. Okay. After that, here in the patterns to test, you need to define how and what you are expecting. Okay. Exactly what you are expecting. So just click on add. And for example, our expectation is that in response, the code will be 200. Okay. So I need to select the response code from here. Okay. I am saying that it would be equal. Okay. And then 200. Okay. Now just run this request again and see what happens. So by default, if you are a session passes, you will not get any information here. Okay. But if it fails, you will get the information. So now let's deliberately fail it out. Okay. I am changing it to maybe to zero one. Okay. Save this one and run this again. Okay. Now, now this time you can see it's failed. It's marked as a red. And if you click on this one, it says verify that its status code should be 200. This is failing. Okay, just click on this one and it clearly saying that expected to equal. They received this. This is 200 and in comparison, it was 201. And this 201 here is what we are expecting. And 200 is basically what they actually received. Okay, so that's how the assertions work. Okay, now let's go back here and again change it to 200. Okay, save this one. Now just add another request. Go to assertions, response, assertion. And this time what we need to do is that we need to verify some response data. Okay, so if you go here in this request, go into the response data and just let me find something here so here you are finding something called home okay so now your test case is that in response you are expecting to have this home coming up okay now go back to the assertion here okay verify that home should be in the response okay now we need to define we have this is already set as a text response okay just set a pattern here okay so pattern is home basically and right now we are using this substring rule okay just save this one and run this one okay and let's see what happens so the request is passed so this means that in response, we are getting this home. Okay. Now just change this one to home one, save this one and run it again. Okay. And let's see. Yeah. So this time is failed and saying that verify that home should be in the response. So actually we are now searching for home one. Home one is not actually present. Home is present. So we are actually deliberately failing it, right? To understand the concept of assertions okay so now just click on uh, the main request okay then we have other things here the one of the important thing is the load time so when we talk about the performance we are very much concerned about the times okay so now how you can assert this time for example you are expecting that on 100 users the response time or the load time should not exceed to maybe two seconds, for example. Okay. So how you will assert that in the JMeter? So just go to the sample here, click on add, go to the assertions, and we have a session called duration assertion. Click on this one. Okay. And here again, you need to provide the name, comments, and level of assertion where you need to apply. And then here, you need to provide the duration 
of the load in terms of the milliseconds okay so if i go back here in the results tree so we are getting this 800 or something okay and if i go here i make it as 1000 milliseconds okay now I'll just run this one to understand this assertion okay so duration assertion got failed okay now see what message we are getting from the J meter the operation lasted too long it took this time but should not have lasted longer than this one so what this means so this means that this is a maximum time okay our response should not take more than 1000 milliseconds okay similarly let let's go back here and see what we are getting an actual so jvt is saying that 1059 okay and yeah so 1059 now let's run this again so this might be passed this time and yes this is passed now because the time is now 774 okay so this is the the whole thought process and concept of the sessions okay now just go back to the sample here and add one more assertion okay and uh, let's add size assertion here okay and now what is the size okay so if i go here in the v3 results go to the main application and see so this is a size in bytes so for example if you are hitting on application and you are expecting a certain size in response in terms of the bytes you can also assert that okay so for example i need to assert this one i'm coming from here going back to the size assertion here and again you need to provide the name comments at what level you need to implement this one okay now here we have response size field to test we need to tell that on whole response maybe on the response headers maybe only on the response body response code response so we have different sizes for each and everything but for example right now our ex our requirement is to test the complete response okay then we need to provide a size here in terms of the bytes okay and then we need to tell the jmeter that how we need to compare it okay either equal um, not equals greater than less than less than equal to greater than equal to okay right now what i'm saying is that it should be equal right and let's see what happens okay let's execute our script and see what happens so the size assertion failed okay the result was wrong size it was this one and we were expecting this one we are saying that it should be equal to this one okay that's why if i go to this main application link like here we can see that this is what we are getting in the real time okay now uh, let me change this to something else um maybe greater than this one or yeah and let's see what happens now okay again the size assertion failed so what is saying right now the result was wrong side it was this one okay but should have been greater than this one so we are saying to jmeter that our response should be greater than this one okay so now let's change it to less than and let's see what happens okay and you can see that right now this time we didn't get a size assertion failure okay so this is how you can implement different assertions as per your requirement Furthermore, what you can do is that if you need more information in terms of the assertions, just go here and go to add, go to the listener, and we have a very specific listener called assertion results. Click on this one, and now execute this one again. So here you will get the information about all the failures. Okay, so tomorrow if you want to log or want to save these errors, or assertion failures you can do it from here okay you can log and display error you can even configure the file write the results to the file or read from the file either you can read from the file or you can write to the file now what is the purpose of this assertion results here tomorrow 
your manager might ask you, okay, please tell me what assertions were failed. Send me the file. Okay. So instead of going ahead and copy each and everything and sending uh, to, to your manager, the better option is to write these results in a file and send that file to your manager. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. If you like our content, please like, subscribe and share our content. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.